In this video, we will define entrepreneurship and other related vocabulary and concepts. We will also compare entrepreneurs and small business owners and look at how they are similar, the same, and how they are different, not the same. Let's get started. Entrepreneurship is the making of a new business. A new business can be a startup, which is a business that did not exist before, or a new business can be an old business that is changed so that it can be more successful. An example of changing a business could be buying a restaurant and changing the menu. Therefore, entrepreneurship is the making of a new business through creating a startup or buying and changing an existing business. An entrepreneur is a person who takes an idea and turns it into a successful new business that is expected to grow. Being an entrepreneur is more than just having an idea, passion, and the willingness to work hard. Being an entrepreneur also requires business skills. Entrepreneurs share some common business skills. First, they are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed and grow. In other words, finding the right opportunity. Second, entrepreneurs are very good at identifying needed resources like materials, people, and money, as well as potential customers. They're also very good at making a plan and getting support, such as attracting employees and investors. Finally, entrepreneurs are very good at implementing the plan and pursuing growth. This means they are good at doing what the plan says and at looking for ways to increase the size of the business over time. As we discussed in our definition of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs often begin with a startup but may also buy an existing business and change it. Entrepreneurs also share other management styles. For example, they are efficient at starting a business and making plans for growth, but they may not be efficient at managing day-to-day -day operations. Let's pause and talk about that term. Day-to-day -day is an adjective that describes things that happen on a daily basis. Operations is a noun that describes activities that happen as part of running a business. Day-to-day -day operations, therefore, are activities that happen on a daily basis to keep a business running, like making products and selling them to customers. So entrepreneurs may not be efficient at managing day-to-day -day operations. Entrepreneurs often sell a startup or a new business once it grows to a certain size and may own many businesses at the same time. Lastly, entrepreneurs often own many businesses over their careers. Entrepreneurs and small business owners share many skills and styles, but they are not the same. A small business owner is a person who owns and manages a small business and is responsible for day-to-day -day operations. Just like entrepreneurs, Small business owners are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed, identifying needed resources, and potential customers, making a plan, getting support, and implementing a plan. Small business owners are also good at maintaining success, which means they want their business to stay small and do not pursue growth like entrepreneurs. Small business owners often begin with a startup, but may also buy an existing business that they may or may not change. Unlike entrepreneurs, a small business owner efficiently manages day-to-day -day operations and often owns the business for a long time. This is because a small business owner is often more focused on stability, keeping the business stable or safe, than on growth. A small business owner also often owns only one business at a time and may own that one business for his or her entire life. Some small business owners start as entrepreneurs, 
but then they decide that they enjoy managing day-to-day -day operations more than looking for growth. Entrepreneurs and small business owners are both important to economic development. They share many of the same skills, but they are not the same. In Unit 1, we will learn more about business, entrepreneurship, and startups, including the role of risk and failure. 